This video is about set operations, including unions and intersections. Let's start with some vocabulary. First word we want to be familiar with is the word set, which essentially is a collection of numbers. And it uses the symbols, the braces. We also have the word elements, which essentially are the numbers, letters, or even objects within a set. And we also have the word unions and intersections, which describe our sets. So we have unions and intersections, which also have symbols associated with them. Unions is associated with the symbol U, and intersection is associated with the symbol that looks like an upside down U. Now the difference in definition is a union actually combines all elements between two or more sets and an intersection is only referring to common elements between two or more sets. So let's look at some visual examples now that we've talked about the vocabulary. So for example, an example of a set would be a equals 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this entire thing here is the set. The individual numbers inside of the set are the actual elements. Now we use union and intersection when we start to compare sets. So in order to compare sets, we have to actually have to have more than one. So let's look at the example A is 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Whereas B is going to be 4, 8, and 16. So here you see two different sets. Okay, We have set A and set B. Set A has the elements 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Whereas set B has the elements 4, 8, and 16. So now let's talk about, well, how can I find A union B? So if you remember the definition for union meant to com we're looking for what combines all elements. Okay, what combines all elements? So basically I want to include all of the elements listed here. So I can see I have the element, so I'm going to say... A union B is, I have a 2, a 4, a 6, 8, 10, and 16. So this whole thing would be my A union B because it includes elements from both sets. We did not leave anything out. It's not necessary to write duplicates, even though it wouldn't be incorrect, but it's just not necessary to write duplicates. So notice you did not see me write 4 or 8 twice. Okay, so now let's look at uh, another union example, and then we'll move on to some intersections. So let's see uh, if I have C is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and 1 again, and then D is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6. So again, I'm going to say, well, what is C union D? I'm going to make sure I include everything. So I can see I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 9. So Again, my union for C and D includes all elements, and I didn't refer to any duplicates. 
let's just do one more. And I'll have E is 1, 2, and 3. And F is 4, 5, and 6. And again, what is E union F? That means I'm going to pick everything. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, so now that we've talked about union, now let's let's look at some intersections here. So for intersections, I'm going to use some of the same examples that I did earlier. So we have A equals 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And I keep using parentheses. And B is 4, 8, and 16. So if you remember when we did our definitions earlier, intersections is only worried about things that are in common. So let's look. I can see that A has a 2, but B does not, so I'm not going to look at that. They both have a 4. 6 exists in set A, but not in set B. 8 is in both. 16 does not exist in set A, and 10 does not exist in set B. So A, intersection B, would only include 4 and 8. Again, we only listed what was in common. So again, let's do a couple more examples. We have C, which was 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 1, as well as D, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6. And if I asked you for C, intersection D, again, I'm only looking for what's in common. They both have a 1. They both have a 3. They both have 5, 2 does not exist in C, 7 does not exist in D, 9 does not exist in both, I already have the 1, 4 does not exist in both, 5 does, 6 does not. So the only elements in my intersection here would be 1, 3, and 5. And I should have an equal sign here. And let's just do one more. We have E is 1, 2, and 3. And F is 4, 5, and 6. So E intersection F, as you can see, they don't have anything in common. And we would just call this the empty set or the null set. 